My name is Vanessa Jones, and I have just completed my MFA in painting. The body of work I've completed for my MFA is a series of self-portraits entitled Self-Replicating Self-Portraits. This idea of replication came out of an interest I have in primordial and medieval imagery, and even its connection to neuroscience and molecular biology, um, sort of a myth and science connection. I was also in lockdown completing self-portraits, and I found myself not only repeating images of myself, but symbols of the feminine like the walled garden, snakes, and snail shells. In a sort of synchronicity, the replication of self and symbols came together to form a series, a series of personas as well as a comprehensible practice. I like to play with symbols for their strangeness and their potential duality of meaning. Symbols and their associations, um, I think, help build up a hyper-reality in my paintings that I quite like. I think that they have the ability to communicate more accurately than reality. This is a very Jungian idea, but I enjoy all of that stuff. This is my painting, Cabbage Baby. It's a self-portrait, a double portrait with my daughter as a freshly harvested cabbage. The painting is based on a dream I had, which had some very strange similarities to a passage by the 14th century mystic Julian of Norwich, where she had a tiny hazelnut in the palm of her hand. And I dreamt that my daughter disappeared slowly until she was a tiny head in the palm of my hand. Combining this with the medieval walled garden, the self-portrait touches on themes of time, beauty, the feminine, and protection. We're surrounded by seemingly harmless and alluring predators like the cabbage white butterfly and foxgloves. One is going to lay eggs all over her and the other is toxic and invasive. There's also the robin who is a predator, but he's also a protector, so there's different levels of threat in the painting. There are a lot of things happening. My figure, um, it's positioned like one of those young Medici portraits by Botticelli where they're holding a medal. And in a strange connection to my own Asian heritage, which is important to my practice, I've given myself a samurai-like bun. I think there is something of the transpersonal between the East and West when it comes to the garden. As much as this painting is the medieval hortus conclusus, it is also zen-like. I sit staring back at the viewer, um, perhaps like a Silk Road Buddha. It's a conflation of cultures in the form of self-portrait, but it's also a conflation of time and space that I can insert myself into.